Ah, my God, I wonder if they're too late for a story. Do you think? There was this woman, you know, she was very posh. It's kind of hard to describe exactly. Do you know every time I, I go to talk about her, do you know who I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of or reminded of? Hyacinth. There's no Hyacinth. Mrs. Bouquet. Well, that's just what she was like, you know. And every year, her and her husband, they would go on a, on, a, on a real posh holiday. Now, for the people in the United States, just in case you get this, that's a vacation. <laughs> but we call them holidays here. But they would go on a very posh holiday, and she would always organize everything, you know. Yeah. And he would just agree and go on just after whatever she would do, just like a palm dog. Does it sound familiar, fellas? Huh? Anyway, this year, they were getting everything organized, you know. They used to go maybe on a, on a, on a Caribbean cruise. It was always five star anywhere wherever they would go. And this particular year, they were getting everything organized. And the God, wherever he found it, he found a voice and he spoke up. And he said to her that instead of going on a very posh holiday, that maybe they should go on a camping trip instead. You see? So she thought about it, you know, and he never looked for anything. And she decided that she would go with his wishes and go on the camping trip. Now, folks, let me tell you something for nothing. This woman had never even seen inside a campsite, never mind to stay in one. And she had certain reservations. Her greatest concern was the toilet facilities. She was worried about how far she might have to travel in the middle of the night from the tent to the toilet and her shimmy. <laughs> Do you know what a shimmy is? Well, anybody who doesn't know what a shimmy is, all I can tell you is that it's not much. <laughs> so she decided before she would go on the holiday that she would write to the owner of the campsite and find out about the facilities and the different things she wanted to know. So this day she set aside a morning and she sat down at her bureau and she got out her stationery and her pen and she started to write. Dear sir, she said, I am coming on holiday to your campsite, given the dates that she was going to be there. She says, and I would like to find out about the... And she couldn't go no further. No, she could never see the word toilet written on her stationery with her name and address at the top of the page. Oh, be God, that was way below her station. And she sat there thinking for a minute, and she remembered that when she was young, they used to call it a bathroom commode. So she decided maybe that would be an apt title. But when she started to write again, she thought that was even below where she stood. So she sat there for ages, and from where the brainwave came, it must have hit her from behind. <laughs> because she decided that instead of using the words bathroom commode, that she would abbreviate it and just use the initials or the letters, B, C, instead. So she continued, and she said, sir, she said, I would like to find out about your B, C facilities. And she finished that letter, signed it, and posted it off, and she was thrilled. Well, I needn't tell you when the man on the campsite got the letter, he hadn't a clue what this woman was looking for. B.C. facilities. He never heard of the like of them in his life. And after a long time of reading and thinking and wondering, he came to the conclusion that this woman must have been inquiring about the local Baptist church <laughs> because he was a member. So he sat down and he got out his paper and this is the letter that he wrote back to her. Dear ma'am, he said, I am pleased to inform you that there is a local BC nine miles north of the camp. <laughs> now he says, I know that is kind of far if you're used to going regular. <laughs> but it is a real nice one and it seats 250 people. Why, he says, why, he says, the last time I was there, the place was so crowded, we had to stand up the whole time we were there. <laughs> the reason being, he says, the reason being, he says, that people around here like it that much, they just pack themselves a lunch and they go and they make a day of it. 
And he says, during the time that you're going to be here, ma'am, they've even got a fundraiser plan. <laughs> and that's going to be held in the, in the basement of the BC. And the money they gather on that evening, they're going to use to add softer seats. <laughs> now he says, it really pains me that I can't go more often <laughs> like I know I should. But it seems it gets more difficult as you get older. <laughs> especially in cold weather. <laughs> but he says, don't you worry about all that, ma'am, he said. Just you come on down here to us, and maybe the first time you go, I can go and sit with you. <laughs> oh, boy, good boy. Forgetting words.